Hello and welcome back to another PvP guide for AQ3D. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mage and ways that you can improve on playing it. Like always, we'll go over the class buff and skills, cross skills and PvP skills, and then we'll wrap up with a rotation. The Mage's class buff is called Ley Lines. This is a 10% flat skill speed increase. Nothing more, nothing less, fairly simple. We'll be skipping the auto attack and going right into the other skills. So, Fireball is the Mage's second skill. This skill gives you a attack buff of 10% per cast of Fireball, up to a maximum stack of 3, equaling 30% damage. On the third cast, Fireball becomes empowered and deals much more damage and also turns the Fireball into an area of effect spell. Fireball has an attack power of 60%, mana cost of 100 and a cooldown of 0.6 seconds. Fire Aspect increases your attack by 10% for each fireball. This has a duration of 10 seconds with a maximum stack of 3. Ice Lance is the mage's third skill. This skill gives 15% cast speed buff per attack up to a maximum of 3 stacks. On the third cast, it becomes empowered dealing extra damage and also applies a damage over time and a slow effect to your target. Ice Lance has an attack power of 40%, cast time of 0.26 seconds, and a cool down of 1 second. Ice Aspect increases cast speed by 15% for each attack. This buff has a duration of 10 seconds and a maximum stack of 3, equaling to 45% cast speed. Lightning Storm is the mage's fourth spell. This is a quite powerful spell when paired with either your Fireball buff or your Ice Lance buff. This skill hits your opponent three times and on the third hit deals massive damage as well as stunning your target for 2.5 seconds. Lightning Storm has an attack power of 270%, duration of 3 seconds, mana cost of 300, and a cooldown of 12 seconds. The stun has a duration of 2.5 seconds. The ultimate skill for Mage is called Meteor Volley. This is a devastating attack. It has an attack power of 400%, a duration of 4 seconds, and a mana cost of 300 mana. This ultimate spell also benefits from your fire aspect or your ice aspect. For cross skills and PvP skills, you want to take Mark Swift Cast and Lucky Shot. The goal here is to create a window of being able to dump a large amount of the mage's toolkit on top of someone's head within the 4 seconds of Mark. Swift Cast allows us to do that as we gain 40% cast speed and 40% skill speed, and we can stack this with our Ice Aspect buff that gives us even more cast speed. The skill speed allows us to not only dump Lightning and the Mage Ultimate within the 2.5 seconds of the Lightning Stun, but it will also allow us to use Lucky Shot much quicker quicker. The non-alt rotation is 3 Ice Lances, 3 Fireballs for 30% attack buff from Fire Aspect, then you Mark and Swift Cast, Lightning, then Lucky Shot. The alt rotation is 3 Ice Lances, Mark and Swift Cast, and then Lightning, use your ultimate, and then after your ultimate, use Lucky Shot. If you like the content that you see, you can subscribe for more as I am a very big PvPer and I will make sure to share all my secrets and knowledge that I know. You can also find me on Twitter at yogitv6. Not only that, if you like AQ3D content but you don't like me, then you can check out these channels here. Miss Virus makes really good content, she's a AQ3D VTuber and her avatar is actually pretty cool. Leg of Lore does good content as he livestreams PvP Gauntlet of Fire tournaments and also does fashion shows and hosts community events and more, so make sure to check him out, especially his Twitch. Hallimod, I know I pick on you the most, but that's because I like you, bud, so don't mind my humor, eh? So make sure to go check out Helimod as he's super close to 2k subs and he also makes a variety of content on AQ3D. And lastly, make sure to check out the Chad himself, Mads1991, as he has some really good meme content on AQ3D and some really decent montage videos as well. Besides that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.